Okay, y'all know that I don't wake up with like makeup all on my face like this, hair looking like this. It takes a village to create this. Y'all know it takes a village. In fact, I've just entered the village of glam squattedness. Tyra glam squattedness. That's my name, my stylist. Hello. That's Valencia, my makeup hello, artist. Hello. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Oscar James hello. does my hair. Yeah, everybody asks us about my hair. How can they get my hair? You can't have it because it's on my head, at least for now until I take it off tonight. But anyway. <laughs> We are doing fantasy makeovers today, okay? Not just any type of makeovers, but fantasy makeovers. This glam squad is going to make women, not, these women are not gonna be looking like human beings today. They're getting the fierce, glamour, fabulous, Fantasy over the top makeovers over the top, yeah. not just like oh Tyra, I want to look like a school teacher. Man. No, you gonna look like the school. Okay, we gonna okay. make you look like a school. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Tyra, ooh, Tyra, I like to horseback ride. And I want to look like you know I I I'm, I'm going through the woods. No, you gonna look like the horse. Uh -huh. But fierce baby, you get it? Fantasy. Let's start this show now. <laughs> to blow your minds with their incredible fantasy makeovers. But before we get to those makeovers, I have a very special guest who's also living out her fantasy. The latest winner of America's Next Top Model, Cycle 11, McKee! It was a one-two punch for Top Model, Cycle 11 winner, McKee. Let's go. When she figured out how to use her moves in front of the camera, Miss McKee was a natural. You know what? You just got punched. That's why that head went, boom. What a gorgeous punch, right? No, you got to get punched this way. Love the neck. That's your strength? Choose the neck. There you go. Nice. McKee's photos were so fabulous that she was never placed in the bottom two. It was a top model, TKO. That girl, she can model. And Mama Tyrus proud to call her the winner of America's Next Top Model. America's Next Top Model, McKee. <laughs> ah! That's a first. All right. Come on out here, McKee. makeovers all day today. Look at McKee's makeup. Oh, I just shocked you. Sorry. Look at her beautiful eyes. She has fantasy makeup. So I noticed that signature pose when you walked out on the runway. I think it's important for every model and every woman to have a pose that is her best. And your signature pose is? Yeah. <laughs> McKee's a, a, a cage fighter? Uh, my boyfriend's a cage fighter. I'm actually his corner and I train in mixed martial arts. So, so when she Not was quite. getting stiff, I said, just pretend like you're getting your butt kicked and... <laughs> that was her shot. But I have um, something to tell you. I like to think of myself as the proud mama of all of my top model girls, particularly my, my winners. But um, there's a proud grandmama that has something to say to you. Aww. And it's my mama. Here's a message from my mom. Hi, Mickey. I'm Carolyn, Tyra's mom. I watch Top Model every week, and I always get a kick out of trying to figure out who's going to be the winner. But I have to say that I am so proud this time because I chose you from the very beginning. I got on the phone, I called Tyra, and I said, that's the winner. That's the winner. She's feisty. I love her little crooked smile. She's got amazing bone structure, and her photos are over the top. So, honey, you got a fantastic career coming, and I am the one that said you were going to be it. <laughs> How great is that? That's awesome. Yeah. My mom, I'm telling you, McKee, like, after your first photo shoot, she said, that's the one. That's the one. And, and she better had one. That's the one. Did you well, ever think that my mama would be your fan? No, that's so awesome. That's so cool. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, McKee wasn't only training to become a top model when she was doing the show. She was also training to be a fighter for her man. I guess her cage fighting corner, whatever you said it was. Check this out. I'm really into mixed martial arts. I really love fighting. So coming here, I was really, really worried about my training routine. What's my key to oh. she being a pillow? You know, we're here for the competition of modeling not to be a boxer. Oh, Mickey. You're not right in the head. When I saw that, I have to admit, when I saw that, I was like, it did, you did look a little crazy. What was, what were you doing? <laughs> Well, actually, um, before I even auditioned for the for the competition, I was uh, in training for a competition in Albania, which happened this last September, and I really was not going to let anything come in between me and that training, because if worse comes to worse, that's going to stay in really good shape. And um, it's just kind of ironic, because having won the competition, I was unable to compete in Albania. Well, doing McKee's it. boyfriend, Sam, is in the audience, the cage fighter. Stand on up, Sam. <laughs> proud of Mickey, um, but also with you, you don't just train martial arts. What do you do? No, I actually compete in cage fighting. You compete in cage fighting? I do. Is that ultimate fighting? Yes, it is. So can you, like, hit somebody in the and it's okay? No, there are some rules. You know, oh, no okay. eye shots, no shots. Oh, okay. <laughs> do you think you and Mickey can, like, do a little demonstration for me? I, I don't want her to hurt me, but I think uh, so. <laughs> Come on, show me what you do, because she says that she beats him up. <laughs> I don't want to flash everybody right now, so I'm going to put on some handy dandy little spandex. Okay. Mind really quick. Pull the bling off. So, Sam, how long have you been uh, doing this stuff? I've this been, fighting? I've been doing it for just over a year and a half now. How many times have you won? Uh, my record now is eight and one. I actually just had a fight last weekend. Are you serious? I did. Did I you did. kick some ass? I knocked him out in a minute 30. Good. All right. So, we keep. to show us here. All right, well, we're gonna start out with just a standard um, toss from a punch, and uh, from there I'm gonna go down into an arm bar, he's gonna defend, um, and in the end, hopefully I'm gonna end up on top. Okay. So works out, everybody, all right? <laughs> so this is good when the opponent comes at you with a punch. I come in. Have a seat, McKee. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Well, thank you so much, Sam. Oh, thank thank you. you. That was amazing. I did not know it was that intense. Yeah. Okay, he said he's eight and one. Now he's eight and two. You kicked his butt. You kicked his butt. Now, there's somebody else that's proud of you also in the audience. Uh, McKee's father is here. Stand on up, Daddy. There's a miracle that you're America's Next Top Model. There's also a miracle that your father is here with us today, very strong and competent. Why don't you tell us about your dad? Well, my father was born to teenage parents. He was born four and a half months premature and a twin. Uh, he had a lot of developing to do. He was born um, with pretty much no vision. He was deaf and he couldn't speak. But, uh, you know, eyes develop with time. And his mother actually taught him how to speak from vocal vibrations. And... He has always had a hearing disadvantage, but he has a cochlear implant now, and he's the most driven person I have ever met. Oh, my uh, gosh. He's an amazing tennis player. He plays paddle tennis, national, national champion right there. He's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. Thank you for the compliment. You raised a beautiful daughter. Your daughter's beautiful. She's absolutely beautiful. Now, there's also one more person here who thinks that McKee has a very big future ahead of her. Joining us is the director of Elite Model Management, Neil Hamill. Hi, Neil. Hi, Tyra. Hi. Stand up. So, what types of things 
do you think uh, you have planned for McKee here? Well, we're going to take the pictures that she did on America's Next Top Model, which are great, and we're going to build on that. And then she's going to go and meet all the fashion magazines here in New York and elsewhere. Then she's going to meet all the people that do the fashion shows, the casting directors for advertising, and we're going to place McKee with other top model agencies around the world, Milan, Paris, London. In 2009, McKee is going to be the year that McKee goes out and meets the fashion world. Wow. Thank you.